This is a short video about, um, this is a water pump for a well. This is an ACE, ACE uh, 5S, or else 5.8, no, it's 5S it looks like. And this pump is probably um, six, seven years old. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn on the other day, and so I got to looking and I um, figured out the cap starting capacitor was bad. This is a starting capacitor. It goes right here. And um, when I went to pull it out, when it wouldn't pull out, when I went to pull it out, it just fell apart, completely apart. The top popped off. And you can see that this is where the contacts that are in here, those con two contacts are supposed to be soldered onto here. So maybe from it heated up from trying to restart a lot or something, and it just unsoldered its contacts, basically. And uh, you probably want to be careful with these because there's oil in here. I'm not sure if they still put PCB-type oils in these or not, but probably not. Uh, so I ordered a new one off eBay. These are like five, six dollars with shipping. I mean, shipping's free for five or six dollars. And this one, I got one that was just slightly bigger. This one's 125 microfarads, and this one is 145. I also, from the same person, got one that was 125, a direct replacement, but I want to try one with a little bit bigger rating because from what I understand from reading, it won't matter if it's a little bit bigger, so maybe it will be a little bit stronger also. And the poles are the same, the little dot in there is the same. This dot here um, is supposed to change to yellow. This is yellow, and this one's not yellow, so I don't know if that's what they mean. This one had a little spot of um, something on the dot, but it's not permanent. It's just like a piece of uh, piece of something. I moved it around. Anyway, I'm going to replace it with this and see see if that cures the starting problems. If it does, instead of purchasing a new pump for um, almost $200, I could just change this in these ACE pumps for five, six dollars. Okay, I'm going to try that. I'm going to use my hand, so I'm going to turn this off. So, after you turn the power off, make sure there's no power in here. And, um, I took a picture of this with my camera, so these leads, I know, uh, I'm going to put them back the same way on this one, is what I took them off. And, um, and we'll see what happens when I turn it back on. So I'm going to need both hands to do that. So this, when this goes in, make sure that the uh, sealed end is up to prevent water from getting in there. And then it just, this little clip is all that holds it in place. It's just a Phillips screwdriver. So you can put everything back. Pretty simple, actually, once you attach the wires and then stick this little plastic warning thing about oils. Stick it back on. And if it, I mean, if you look at this pump, the rest of it is all fairly brand new. It is, I mean, even though it's, um, what, eight years old, it's still fairly new looking inside. Okay, so I'm going to see if turn the power back on in and see if that makes it work. Oh, i got to put my power lines back. I took them off here besides killing it at the um, circuit breaker because I have a spare pump that I hooked in. It's also in this system. So to work it, I just, instead of having a circuit breaker, I just take these wires off. So i got to put these back and then I'll turn the circuit breaker on. Also, I remember when I put this cover back on. This is also a perfect example of the engineering
disconnect that you see nowadays. All the inside screws were Phillips screws. These two cover screws are just regular screwdrivers. Now, why would an engineer not put, at least if there's Phillips inside and he wants to have these, why not put combination screws here where you can use Phillips or straight? Why would you put straight ones here and have Phillips ones inside? It's a complete stupidity on the part of an engineer. Anyway, I'm going to put these on. Okay, so it seems to be working again. Got to get a new filter and put my other new filter into my other pump. So I got to go get a new filter and put one back in here and shut down my other pump system that's over here. Okay. Okay, so I would say tip try and recycle this thing responsibly because it does have oil in it. Um, and some of those oils and capacitors are this nasty stuff. So I bag this one up and then I'll take it and see if the maybe the battery people or someone will take it. See ya.